So there's my old rudder. It's about seven feet tall and uh, the lighting's not great in here. But um, as you can see, there's some gaps. The wood's dried out. It was never quite sealed or never sealed with epoxy. It also has a, a bad fiberglass job that I've removed before I removed it from the boat. Um, there is a bronze fitting at the very bottom and one sort of in the middle and a bronze rod through it holding it together. Uh, and then there's stainless steel for the top two gudgeons and pinnels. Not in great shape. I probably could repair it, but I decided to uh, try my hand at building a new one. There you can see uh, a pretty big gap in the rudder. It's filled with um, some kind of putty that it had Bondo, but it also has a putty that's not epoxy. It's very rubbery, comes out fairly easy, and it smelled really bad when I heated it up to try to take it off. So here's a shot of the new rudder that I put together. It's four slabs of Australian cypress, which is a, a very hard softwood, um, fairly tight grain. It uh, went together fairly well. I used um, West Epoxy thickened as well as West 610 until I ran out of 610. Um, it started out as 200 mil or eight inch wide beams. There's four of them. I used a reciprocating saw and a long blade on a jigsaw to cut it out. It needs a bit more shaping. And um, now I need to plane it down. It started out 75 mil thick or three inches. And that's because uh, I ordered some Davy bronze gudgeons and pinnels. They're 64 mil wide inside. So right now the first beam or the leading edge of the rudder is about 64 mil. Uh, rounded over on the edge. I'm going to use an electric planer to plane it down to about an inch or an inch and a half at the trailing edge. So uh, how I'm going to do that, I was going to get a laser level, mark a line all the way around, but I realized one, I don't have one, and two, I don't need one. So I'm just going to mark the center line from the leading edge, uh, follow it around, and then put some marks on for the, the dimensions I want and shape it Shape it a bit, not into an actual airfoil shape, but uh, you know, taper the rudder into the trailing edge. So here's the result so far. I planed it down a bit with the electric plane, made a huge mess of the garage. And as you can see from some of the pencil lines, there's a bit more planing to go. There's a couple waves in it that I don't want, but it's coming along nicely. So that's uh, one side almost done, about two hours work with an electric planer. And we'll shave down around the pintles and gudgeons once I final place them. But for now, I've left this place, this place to, uh, to mount them on the angle they require and then trim down the wood after. Okay, so I finished one side and I'm about to play the other side. And although it's a bit hard to see, the black line there shows how much has been planed off of the side that's facing down. I put some uh, black marks on the rudder to uh, you know the general areas of big planing. I'm gonna use an electric planer and uh, I'll save you the time of watching me plane wood for about two or three hours and uh, I'll get back to you with the results. Okay, so I spent a few hours sanding it, making it fair and cleaning up the trailing edge. Although it's a bit hard to see, I've rounded over the edges with a router. It's left a bit of a groove, so I'm going to uh, plane and sand that off. Then I'll give it a good wipe with some acetone and put a sealing coat of West Epoxy on one side of the rudder today. <laughs> 